Hi everyone, it's Cheryl, and I wasn't planning on doing another video. It is a quarter to two in the morning. I thoroughly try to enjoy my days off when I have them because the 10 hour days are long and I know that I'm going to go back to three of those in a row and not that I mind it because I like having two days off in a row, but I love to make the most of my days off, so I'm usually up until 2 or 3 anyway, because I don't work tomorrow. So this is just going to be a real short video, uh, kind of part 2 to the one I started. Now this is the bottle, and I'm sorry about the glare, I, yeah. Uh, this is the bottle that I had the eyeballs in, that I put the paper clip on the back. And what I did, and what I would recommend is, as I said in the first video, that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, uh, the pouches, the laminating pouches, create static. So what I had to do was I took my little tape runner and I actually stuck the eyeballs down with a little bit of tape on each one. And when you do that, they kind of overlap. So then what you would do is, and I, my, I did mine as an afterthought, um, so it's not like I would do it if it weren't an afterthought. <laughs> I guess that's the only way to put it. Um, what I, I, I would do then is trace the shape of the eyeballs as they're going to sit in the jar. And I mean, you could glue them together too. It doesn't matter. And then with that shape, when I got my laminating done, I just put that shape on the back, stuck a paper clip on it, covered it with another little piece. In this case, I just used a piece of an old file folder. I mean, I would do this much better if I were making it to go in actual journals or whatever I was going to use it for. Uh, this was just for the sake of the tutorial, but I just covered the paper clip, the end of it, with a piece of the same thing, and that's it. You could, glue, you could glue something to the side, too, if you wanted, so that when you put it on the page, you wouldn't have the back of the paper clip showing. That's how I did that. Uh, I was I stamped out something that turned out really cute and would have been really great, but it's late. I just wanted to get stuff done. I wanted to get the second half of the video done, so I was made sure I had it all up this weekend. And so I was just messing around, stamping some more stuff, so I did three eyeballs in one of these. There's a fly on my camera screen. Go away. Uh, so I stacked up three eyeballs in this little bottle. Um, I remembered to put the frog in, but uh, he got in this shape bottle this time. So there he is. There's a little spider coming down, so he's going to have lunch. God, I hate spiders. Oh, bleh, terrible. Um... Now this one is a what to be careful of. I decided to put the, and I haven't cut this one out all the way yet, but it's one of those rounded bottles. Uh, looks like, no, I didn't cut that one out either. Um, <laughs> okay, it looks like the yellow one on this tag. Okay, so I decided to put the eyeballs in there. Okay, that works really good, except for like the static, and I didn't, at first, I didn't, I didn't even on this one put any tape on them and the static made the eyeballs move I don't know if you can see but can you see like at the bottom of this eye here and I want them to be in green liquid that's why they're green because I colored it green uh, if you can see this um, down at the bottom you'll see white and over to the side a little bit that is because I got it down too far where I hadn't colored so that can happen. Make sure that you use some tape on your stuff. And when you're using the tape on anything white with the laminated sheet, focus, then your tape doesn't show like it did on that piece of darker uh, cardstock I was showing you. Um, this one, I think, is the one. Did I color this one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but it doesn't show, but uh, there's supposed to be little lines along the side here. Where am I at? I don't even know where I'm at. Yeah, that one you can't even see. I colored it orange, and it's so light it doesn't even show up. But 
anyway, I want to say the cutest thing for last. Now, keep in mind, I was just trying to do this to get it done for the video. Um, what I used was to trace was a Micron pen number eight, I believe it is. And I traced around my tacky glue bottle because it was all I could find at the time. But guys, and it's so my lines are squiggly because of the tacky glue bottle. But guys, is this not adorable? I had to show it on black so you could see that I do have snowflakes in there. There's a black base. It's a little snow globe. How cute would one of those be? You know, took your time, did it good. How cute would that be on a card for Christmas? Or in a Christmas journal or December daily? How cute is that? Look at that. That is just in my opinion, even as rustic as it is, and I'm going to use the word rustic, I don't want to say it looks like crap, which it kind of does. Um, <laughs> that's truthful. Um, but how cute would that be? There's your snow globe, okay? And, yeah, I am just happy as heck, even though it's rustic. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I got the little snow in there. The little car was on some Christmas paper. I bought a sheet of it at Hobby Lobby last year. That, to me, is adorable. Absolutely adorable. I was so excited and so happy. That's another reason I'm doing the video, because I just wanted to show it to you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, yeah. And the uh, snowflakes are... To stay white. Where is it? I don't know if this dumb camera will focus. Come on, camera. It's just a white jelly roll pen. That's all it is. You can use any white gel like pen. I had thought about actually trying some glitter or something like that, but then the sheets are staticky and I can see all the glitter just bunching up in one spot. So yeah, that simple, that easy. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure with a laminator. Nothing has to be what it was meant for. There's always other uses, and I'm always one to try to find another use for something. So get out your laminators and play with them. You never know what you'll come up with. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a good week ahead of you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.